Stay right there in your easy chair For 30 minutes of pleasure Don't you go, it's more than the show It's the talk of the desert It's the talk of the desert with Paul and the Reed. I just love coming home at night I turn around, she's a treasure Now, here's Melinda. Here we are, back with the Desert Symphony, celebrating their 28th season here in the desert. That's why it's called the Desert Symphony. And joining me again is the president of the Desert Symphony, Nancy Tappick. Nancy, welcome again. Thank you, Melinda. And the co-founder and who does everything for the symphony. Marilyn Benikowski. Marilyn, welcome again. Thank you. You know, well, this has been an exciting season for the Desert Symphony. Get Every season is more and more exciting as we're getting uh, more mature. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting more mature? Not me. <laughs> All of us. It's collaborative. <laughs> it's a collaborative effort. No, but it's, it's just every season is exciting. And, and I can't believe that we're coming up upon our third concert of this season and we have four you know four to go in total and it, it just goes so fast and we just love it so well and you've got a couple of new things coming up because this the ticket sales do not cover the expenses of renting the mccallum theater and the expenses of the professional musicians professional right marilyn yes. Yes. yes and yeah. um yes. and so you have to have some fundraisers to help cover the cost to to do this for 28 years yes so this is so cute there's a new group coming together and it's called the Symphonettes. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> yes. Yes. But Marilyn, just before we went on air, you told me there was such an instrument. It's called the Symphonettes. That is true. Tell us about the, the Symphonettes. The Symphonette is a little small, about yay big instrument that is the beginning study for children. It used to be for second and third grades to get them ready to go to a better and more interesting instrument from the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. So we used to sell them when we were in New York in our store. And it's just a small little instrument, two octaves, that's beautiful. And unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. Is it like a something you blow it's, into? It's something like a flutophone, if you know what a flutophone is. Well, I know what a yes, flute is. It. But... It's two octaves has the okay. same fingering as a clarinet, really. Okay, Caroline, I'm going to give you a really high time. <laughs> that's okay. How I... many years ago was that? <laughs> oh, God. I would say uh, I'm here 33 years, yeah. and we were in business for thir almost 30 years, so you do the math. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But you've got, Nancy, tell us about this ladies' organization. I guess maybe include men too? Oh, of course. Of course. Everyone can be a symphonette. Oh, so my dogs also. Huh? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, we have been, about two and a half years ago, I, I got this idea that we should try to collaborate with the Institute at the McCallum Theater to put to bring the Desert Symphony to the children of the valley and collaborate with them and put a program mm -hmm. on together. So I went to uh, Mitch Gershenfeld and asked him about the idea and he said, well, you know, you need to speak with Kaiser, which we have. But before I would go to Kaiser, I needed to have the money in my pocket so <laughs> I could say I could do this because it's very costly to do. Like you said, oh. the, the um, ticket price does not cover what we like to do for the children. And the experience of the children coming into the theater and seeing this large orchestra on stage and not knowing what any of those instruments do or what's going to happen or just even walking into the theater is really something to see. And we're, we're, we love to do it, but it just got to be prohibitively expensive for us to carry on our own. So I thought, well, if we could get together and we would take care of the orchestra part and they take care of getting the children to the theater and everything else, we would it would be a win-win. So I finally, through a very generous donor and other little fundraisers that I've had along the way, uh, gotten this together. And our major donor for this 
is Edie and Patrick McCarthy. Oh, how lovely. And yes, and they, they were very generous, and he really wants us to do this and be a success. So we just had a meeting this week, and we're shooting for October. And uh, October 2017. Yes, because this year. That's right. That's over the summer. It feels yes, like it should be 2018. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, most of the season ends in May, and it's right. just too short to do it between mm -hmm. now and May. But we can open in October. And so this is what we're working on. And, and now we very much are we are even trying to expand it so that we might be able to do two concerts in one day, which means I have to go back to the drawing board <laughs> and raise some more money. <laughs> Hence the symphonettes. Because the symphonettes, any money that comes in to the symphonettes will go directly to the Children's Music Discovery Series, Hooked on Classics. And it will be 100% funded by whatever the symphonettes are able to raise. Well, this is, before we went on air, we were talking about the symphonettes, and yeah. and you said you came up with the name, and then Marilyn said it was an actual actual instrument, yeah. which was shocking to me. But the symphonettes' first meeting is Monday, um, February thirteenth. Yes, and we're going to have an opening luncheon at Quisto, and Quisto has been so wonderful to work with, and they've given me a fantastic menu with a choice of salad, a choice of three entrees, dessert wine, all-inclusive, which is a really generous gift to us mm -hmm. um, to do for the, the first event. And that also includes membership for a year in the Symphonettes. Yeah. And you'll be a founding member of the Symphonette. So you'll always be distinguished. As, <laughs> well, seriously, I will make sure that we are always distinguished, the ladies that attend and men that attend, as our founding wow. members. Lovely. So, and, uh, and so that's Monday, uh, February 13th. Yes. At what time? 11 o'clock. May, may I give you an invitation? Oh, yes. thank you very we much. We would love you to be there. The invitation, I plan to be there. Great. Uh, and uh, what's the cost? The cost is $150, which okay. includes the membership. Uh, membership. And of course, we have some expenses because we do have to pay Quisto. But, really? But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But again, I mean, they're being very generous with the way they constructed the menu and everything. It's, it's really a joy to work with them. And uh, so this is what we're, we're doing. I'm really excited about it. And it's funny about the symphonettes uh, because I was thinking of a name, you know. And Marilyn never really told me that it was an instrument. She just, she was trying to surprise me. <laughs> I was so, and I am oh, you're so naughty, you Marilyn. I just like the thing. sound of it. You yeah, know, it's cute. And that's, it's I cute. It was good. It's very cute. Yeah. Yes, yes. They should still make the instrument. Well, now, I have to tell you, and when I was in elementary school, I had went on a field trip and saw the symphony, because I grew up in Seattle, I saw the symphony at the Opera House. That impressed me so dramatically. Oh, oh. And now I never knew that I'd ever be involved with organizations as an adult, like I have been like with the Desert Symphony and being at the McCallum Theater constantly, you know, and it's, it's I, important. I, I we were, actually, we were the first one to give a symphony concert for children at the McCallum. I won't tell you what year that was either. You're going to have to do the math. It was a but long time it ago. It was a long time ago. And it, it's been <laughs> our goal to do a full symphony concert again. We have been doing smaller events for children, but a full symphony concert is the ultimate. Well, that's fantastic. And they also will learn about the different instruments. Yes. Yeah. yes. And Gary Berkson, our music director, has a wonderful program constructed. And we went over that. Uh, with the uh, McCallum uh, Kaiser in particular, and she just loved it, and it just sounded so exciting. I can't wait to hear it myself because <laughs> it, it, it just sounded like such a beautiful, educational, not boring uh, instruction yeah. and concert. You mean yeah. you may learn something about an instrument you didn't know about, yes. huh, Nancy? <laughs> Marilyn, will you know well, anything? <laughs> and composer, you know what, what we always enjoyed so much was, and they're going to do it again because Kaiser said they're going to have a link for the uh, schools that the children learn about new composers that they never knew. Oh. I mean, they only know what they hear on the radio today. So oh. Gary has a really fine program. That's that's and it's terrific. Be fun. I'm going to enjoy playing it. <laughs> oh, good, good. Now, uh, the one other thing I want to say is that, and we were joking about it 
off off camera, but if anybody has a symphonette, oh. please call me. Oh <laughs> and I'll even give you my uh, private number. To call me. That's how much I would I would love to have one. And that number is seven six zero. Eight nine five eight seven four seven, and I will answer. And I hope that you have a symphonette. And maybe in somebody's garage or attic, garage they just or, might, you know. Yes. So. so, and what's the phone number that they can contact you to become a symphonette and come to the luncheon on f Monday, well, you February thirteenth? Well, use 13th. that same phone number because oh, you can yes. see RSVP on there. I think. Oh, it yes, is. It is. It is. Or okay. you can call, call the, the office. office. And that number is seven six zero seven seven three five nine eight eight. Wow, good for you, Marilyn. I finally got a chance. I always have to tell her. Because <laughs> it's number seven on my phone. So I don't really... We're number seven. <laughs> there was a day I knew every number, but now I just have Not to know more. One. What's that number again? Today? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you have another fundraiser, which I'm so excited about because I love this woman and what her musical talents and the history behind the instrument that she plays. Oh, the and it's violin. It's Elizabeth Pitt Karen, and she performed with the Desert Symphony. I don't know, was it seven years ago? Uh, yes, well, she's something been like with that. us twice. Okay, we actually started her out when she was a student at the uh, Colburn School of Music. So, we have a long history with her. Well, but if you've ever seen the movie The Red Violin, it it trace traces where this violin may have been through its life, its yes. existence. Yes. It's a fascinating movie, but tell us some more about Elizabeth and the, and the Red Violin. Well, I just found out, which I was happy to, she emailed me today um, on this program. I'll give you another information. Oh, I get more paper. Oh, it's a beautiful, it's look a beautiful at with the red color. dress and it, with her holding the red violin. She's gonna have an exciting program. She's going to do actually some Sarasati She's going to do some John Williams and Cesar Franck and Paganini, which is the ultimate of violining. So I, I'm looking forward to it myself. She's, well, she's spectacular. And um, Nancy, tell me about the date and the time and the location for this. Well, the date is March 8th. And through the generosity of Donna McMillan, it will be uh, hosted at her home. And uh, it begins at six, and it'll be heavy hors d'oeuvres, champagne, and dessert. And if you haven't been to Donna McMillan's home, it's yes. fascinating. Yeah. I mean, the, the price of the ticket is worth just to see the home, <laughs> let alone Elizabeth Pitt Karen and the red violin. And how much is the is that event? One hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, only one hundred and fifty. I mean, really, I'm surprised. Yes. Well. So, you know, the, the, uh, again, this goes for the symphonettes and for the children's uh, music discovery series. And I want people to experience it, and I'd like to have as many as I can. And since we are doing a number of things this year, I wanted to keep the prices rather moderate. And that is a moderate price for that event. But, you know, I really want people to experience it, meet Elizabeth, and uh, hear the violin. That's more important sometimes. Now, quickly, as I recall, that her grandfather purchased the red violin yes. for her. Do you remember this story? Uh, the story? Yes, and it wouldn't allow her to use it when he first bought it. She was had another one that was very excellent also. I think he, she was 16 when he bought it. Now, it's a shred of various, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I had the privilege of handling it when she was at the last <laughs> market, and that is a privilege because it is a magnificent instrument. And I think she got it uh, when she graduated from school. He gave it to her. It was quite costly. It's a wonderful story because he heard it was an auction in England, I believe, and he flew her to to have her try it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So she tells the story a lot more eloquently than we can, but she it's its really a great story. But she, that's her life. That's what she's lived exactly. it. So she can tell the story, and she can tell the insides about the, mm -hmm. the aspects, the whole thing. And because... the history of the violin itself. I mean, she's so versed on it that it just flows from her. So it's, it's interesting. She not only plays, but she talks, too. Okay, so remember, we've got two fundraisers for the Desert Symphony. Uh, one is the Symphonettes, which yes. is Monday, February 13th, day before Valentine's Day, gentlemen and ladies, um, at Christo 
and that is a hundred and fifty dollars yes um, and phone numbers to call for tickets for both fundraisers my number is 760-895-8747 and the office number is 760-773-5988 and, and I must say I have a wonderful co-chairman Joanne Hurwitz is uh, co-chairing this with me and she is a bundle of energy and excitement and a great spokesperson so I'm very pleased to have Joanne with me on this. And, and then the second fundraiser is with Elizabeth Pitcairn and the Red Violin, and that is Wednesday, March 8th at 6 o'clock at Donna McMillan's house. And the cost of that is also 150 Yes. Can't, these are just terrific prices for what we're trying to accomplish with Thank the Desert Symphony. And to, Thank, and you. To, Thank you. I appreciate that. And, and to, to affect, to promote children learning about the symphony. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Well, when we come back from the break, we're going to talk about the rest of the season, <laughs> the 28th season of the Desert Symphony. We'll be right back. The Desert Symphony has something for everyone this season. Live entertainment supported by your professional symphony orchestra creates great memories for the entire family. Experience the finest musicians performing the classics, popular songs from theater, and even more from motion pictures. For tickets and information, go to the desertsymphony.org or call 760-340-ARTS or 760-773-5988. Well, we're talking about the 28th season of the Desert Symphony, always at the McCallum Theater, the beautiful McCallum Theater. And we have actually four more symphonies, three of the regular season, and the gala which happens to be April 1st. I don't know why you chose April Fool's Day for the gala, but let's take it in chronological order. Coming up on Thursday, February 16th at 8 p.m. is a tribute to ABBA. Yes. Nancy? Arrival, the music of ABBA. This, they haven't been with us for four years and everybody asks us every year, when are we bringing them back? This is it. <laughs> We're bringing them back. And oh, they are incredible. If you've never seen the music of ABBA with a symphony orchestra and arrival, you must get a ticket for, uh, for this show. And there's not many tickets left. Not too many left. There are some left. And every seat in the McCallum is great. So you never have to worry about that. And uh, we're, you know, we're really excited about it. The group is excited. And uh, they are from Sweden. And the, uh, the tribute the artists tribute, are from Sweden. Yes, oh, yeah. The tributes. Well, of course they would be, wouldn't they? <laughs> but they're so wonderful. They're so wonderful to work with. And they put on such an incredible show. And a little story you told me before. I hope this is okay to say. You were at Mitch's uh, six, yes. four, years ago? four years ago? Four years ago, Okay, yes. and they sang Fernando. Yes. Yeah, tell the, tell the well, story. Well, one of our sponsors uh, took them to dinner. And we were there. And and they asked the waiter what his name was, and he said, Fernando. <laughs> so the two girls stood up and harmonized Fernando in Mitch's, and all the audience was looking around. They got an ovation, and, <laughs> and the waiter was like, oh, my God, they'll never have another night like this. You know, <laughs> so it was fun. That is fun. Okay, and then the March Symphony is Forbidden Broadway. Oh, yes. tell me what that's about. Well, this was Gary's pick. Uh, Gary has a, a very wonderful sense of humor. Yes, he does. And, and, <laughs> and uh, very wry, but a wonderful sense, just the same. And Forbidden Broadway has played on Broadway for many, many years. It, they do parodies and comedic verses to the popular Broadway tunes. So they, no one is left unscathed. <laughs> Exactly. Unscathed. Are you two living together? We didn't know this, huh? We always finish each other's sentences. All the time. Listen, I'm with this Desert Symphony since the year 2000. Yes. We oh. can finish sentences. Yeah. <laughs> that you can. But anyway, um, and it encompasses everything, Phantom and, and uh, Annie and all the, all the great shows. And they, they're just wonderful. So we're really excited about it. And then the last concert of the regular season is with a desert resident. Yes, Lucy Arnaz. And if you've never seen Lucy Arnaz in concert, now is the time. Because this is not going to just be with her band or orchestra. This is with a symphony orchestra. And she is 
the consummate artist. She can dance. She can tell jokes. She can banter. She can s sing. She's she's incredible. Well, just think she's the product of two of our favorite people in the entire world. Exactly. You know, and the history is so rich. And uh, she, she, we're really excited about her concert. And that is April fourth at no, eight no, no. six six sixth. Sorry, I misread it. That's okay. okay. Um, but. <laughs> they are they are finishing their sentences aren't they um but five days before is your gala and when i guess yes. switch the sh card we'll over to this <laughs> now why did you pick april 1st for your gala <laughs> well you know many people say to us why do why why well i'll tell you why because we are given our dates that's right <laughs> we, we don't have a choice no, on dates so we better be ready and i'm very lucky to have saturday april 1st and i thought it was a great day april fool's day you know it's it's fun we we've, we've uh put it into our marketing and where else would you want to be on April Fool's Day but to hear Al Jarreau sing we're in this love together that's right and forever absolutely yeah fantastic and so. this is a consummate musician and I spoke to his assistant uh, yesterday and he said you know a lot of symphonies when they accompany talent like this play whole notes or not that much. He says, wait till you see the music. He said, you're going to be working. It is truly symphonic in every way. And they did it for us. Oh. So we are just so pleased. Wonderful. They made all new arrangements for us. So what's the cost of the gala? The gala is um, tiered. You can buy just concert only tickets, which are on sale now at the McCallum box office. And they start at two hundred dollars, and they uh, they go to a hundred, I believe. And uh, or you can buy a gala ticket, which includes dinner at Wally's, and Cristo, and a portion of that ticket is tax deductible. And uh, that gives you premier seating in the first eight to ten rows of the theater, and it's done on a first come first serve basis. <laughs> uh, and then you if we are fortunate enough to have you become a sponsor. Dinner is in the Founders Room, and it's catered by Lavender Bistro. And the prices start at that $2,500 for a single ticket and go up to, we're looking for a $50,000 sponsor. <laughs> so if anybody wants to do that for me, it would be the first time, and I would be delighted. But uh, it, it's, it's really a beautiful evening. We start with cocktails. In the founders room at 5 30 uh, dinner is served and then after the show we come back where you have a meet and greet with Al Jarreau and photo fantastic yes. so and that's saturday april 1st at 8 p.m yes and our honoree this year for the amadeus award is the incredible incomparable <laughs> beautiful comedic singing, very, dancing, very shy. actress, very shy. Very, very shy. Very, you can hardly get a word out of her, Ruta Lee. <laughs> she is a delight. I she lights Ruta. up any room, any time, any place. She's fantastic. And she's most deserving. She Ruta, is. Ruta Lee's background for philanthropy and for the arts is incredible. But aside from that, she and the late Debbie Reynolds conceived and funded for years the Thalians at Cedar sinai for the mental uh, hospital there. Yes. Yes. And they raised a ton of money, yes, they and they are angels and wonderful people to have done this their whole career. Oh, they sure have. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Ruta told me one time that Debbie was president of the Thalians, and then she was president of the Thalians, then it went back to Debbie, and it went back to Ruta. Yeah. And, and another first. It's the first woman on the first woman. recipient. Oh, how yes. wonderful. First woman. Yeah. Yep. And she is most deserved. That's And that's um, Saturday, April 1st with uh, Gala and Al Jarreau dinner and then uh, Al Jarreau for the performance. Mm -hmm. And Ruta. Ruta will, fills up the whole McCallum Theater all by herself. She absolutely does. Yes, she sure does. Okay, we only have a couple minutes left. Let's do a quick recap. Okay. We have the fundraiser for the Symphonettes yes. on Monday, February 13th at 11 o'clock at Christo. And then, then that's $150. And bring your sweetheart. 
and bring your sweetheart. It is it is Valentine's Eve, isn't it? Yes. And uh, then we've got Elizabeth Pitcairn on March eighth, um, and that starts at what time? Six. 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 And she has the red violin, which what a history that violin has. Then that's at Donna McMillan's home, and that's one hundred and fifty dollars. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then we've got uh, four shows left of the twenty eighth season for the Desert mm-hmm. Symphony. And, well, that's your website. Go to your website. It's www.desertsymphony.org. Simple, simple. Um, But all the shows start at 8 o'clock. Yes. And then the gala is um, Saturday, April 1st with Al Jarreau, with dinner. You can have dinner or just tickets to the um, show. And uh, see Ruta Lee. She is outstanding character. How do we like to say that? <laughs> outstanding. <Yeah. laughs> but sweet and kind. Oh, and she's gentle wonderful. I and love her. Giving and just, just a wonderful person. She is. Yeah. And are we already looking at season number 29, Marilyn? 29. We'll start with the Children's Symphony at Excellent. the McCallum Institute. Yeah. Really? Yes. That, well, that's that's October. That's October, yes. but our season is over April sixth, so the 29th is starting the new season. It is, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And you were definitely in diapers when you when you and, and Ben Binikowski <laughs> founded you. Edwin Binikowski <laughs> founded <you>. the symphony. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Can you believe it's been? I mean, going into the it's 29th hard to year, it truly is. But yeah. uh, with all that we've been doing, and Nancy's been going like crazy. The days, months, years have been flying by. Now, tickets can be purchased through the McCallum website. Yes. Or at, or at your phone number. At the box office. Or at the box office. So yeah. you just call the McCallum phone number, which is 760-340-ARTS. Yes. 2787, I think, is what it's, it is. Could be. It's could be. <laughs> Quick, what about your phone? We're going to look at the keypad. It's number five on my phone. <laughs> Anyway, ladies, thank you for joining me for the how exciting for the rest of the season. I think your couple of fundraisers just are like beyond belief. It's really, really exciting. Love the symphonettes. Anybody has a symphonette, they want it. Really, we do. We yes, do. We do. Yes. <laughs> and then I love Elizabeth Pitcairn. Her stories about the red violin are phenomenal. So anyway, thank you, Nancy Tappick, the president of the Desert Symphony, and Marilyn Benikowski, the co-founder of the Desert Symphony. And thank you, thank Melinda you, Reed. Melinda. Oh. For- Always being so kind and and generous and supportive right of the Desert the Symphony. Thank you. And you taught me, Marilyn. Music is the international language. That's so. Thank <laughs> anyway. you so much. And thank you, audience, for joining us. For more information, email TOTDTV at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web. <laughs> <laughs>